WB Games. DC Comics. Here's the bat symbol. 12 seconds into the game. Just in case you forgot you were playing a Batman game. You want to know how you can tell you have terrible security at your facility when the sign outside says hitchhikers may be escaping patients. Hell, if that's the case, why even bother building the asylum in the first place? Warden, something's not right. I've got a bad feeling about this cliche. I want him securely locked away this time. Another escape and I will lose support for my mayoral campaign. I see that Quincy Sharp went to the solid snake university of campaigning for elected office. Hurry up, you big lump, you'll be late for the party. I just love how the game actually waits for you to get on the platform before it truly starts. <laughs> it's actually quite humorous. The game simply will not begin without Batman. Look at all this new security. How's the guy supposed to break out of here? Well, seems pretty easy, concerning the sign just outside Arkham. Ooh, would you sneak in with your bats? Come on, tell me, tell me. Batarangs, bat claws, ooh, bat snacks. Wait, bat snacks? You mean, why so cereal? <laughs> or better yet, actual bat flakes? <laughs> Joker, 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 how come they let Batman pass security? Oh, I don't know. Couldn't possibly have anything to do with the fact that some of Gotham's most dangerous criminals are locked up here as a direct result because of Batman. I still have a trick or two up my sleeve. I mean, don't you think it's a little bit funny how a fire at Blackgate caused hundreds of my crew to be moved here? Batman, Joker is practically spelling out his scheme to you, and you can't figure it all out? Ha! <laughs> World's greatest detective, my ass. These idiots know that the Joker has escaped multiple times, yet are still dumb enough to send only two guards to escort him to his holding cell. And I appreciate the assistance, but he'll unsettle the more violent inmates. <laughs> I think he's talking about you, Bats. Well, of course he is. He literally just said, Sorry, Batman. Arkham staff only. The developers must have thought we'd skip over this minor detail of how Harley Quinn gained access to the control room. Then again, this whole plan is pretty asinine to begin with. What with getting captured and trapping the one guy who can derail your plan in the asylum with you. And all Joker does throughout this entire game is taunt Batman, rather than destroy him whenever he gets the chance, which makes his plan even more pointless. Actual gameplay literally begins with button mashing. I'm in control of the asylum. You're not going anywhere I don't want you to. Understand? That is not the Joker speaking, people. Those are the exact words the game developers are speaking directly to you, the player. Very subtle to the uninitiated. Very sinful to those who are perceptive. You know it's a trap. Of course it is. And yet, you will walk right into it. Because he's Batman! Do you need anything? Is my dad still there? Ashley Williams? Is that you? What the hell are you doing in this game? Stock alarm sound effect. You can't. He'll kill Mike if he sees anyone trying to get close. He won't see me. You can't see me. My time is now. now. I see anything that looks even a little bit like a bat, and this guard dies. Why not kill the guard? Arkham Asylum is basically taken over by the Joker. It's not like the other guards can call for backup. Scene does not contain any Harley Quinn twerking. Also, I'm not Quincy Sharp in this scene. Bye bye for now. What a waste of camera equipment. As much as I love Harley Quinn, her design in this game is a straight ripoff of Jeanette from Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. He's lying. It's just a diversion to keep people away. How do you know? I know him. You know what you should have said? Because I'm Batman! <laughs> another friend dead, another mark for Zaz. He should be put down. Permanently. Uh, is there any other way to put someone down? Other than permanently, Batman Pilates. Guard, how the hell did you get all the way up there? Woo! Go Batman! You rock! Joker doesn't stand a chance. Unnecessary encouragement. 
Random spawning enemies. There's no escape, Joker. I will find you. Uh, technically, you already have. Releasing control. You want to know what's funny about this fight sequence? You can just lollygag around and the Titan will still collapse. It's kind of funny, actually. And very sinful. End this! Pull the plug! Stop me once and for all! All of a sudden, Batman resists when he was clearly willing to stop Joker just a couple of minutes ago. If I see you trying to follow me, he dies. If Joker didn't want you following him, then why did he leave you this trail for you to follow him? Why doesn't he just stop Batman every chance he gets? It's like I said earlier, even for the clown prince of crime, this is utterly pointless. Game rips off the thermal scan vision from Metroid Prime. Or Predator if you're a movie buff. What's more sinful is that they rename it to detective mode and try to pass it off as a new gaming mechanic. Gordon was taken up to the surface in the elevator. If I want to follow them, I'll need to do this the old-fashioned way. Batman's idea of the old-fashioned way is using the grappling hook. Game also rips off the same grappling hook mechanic that Ada Wong used in Resident Evil 4. This super annoying tune that repeats itself throughout the entire game. The recharge time on the remote-controlled battering. These guys have terrible peripheral vision. Yes, it is I, Edward Nigma, the Riddler, and more importantly, your intellectual superior. Superiority complex. Inability to glide kick someone when you're in midair. Is it me or does the Batmobile look rather small compared to what it looked like at the beginning of the game where he had Joker handcuffed? Am I going mad? Should I be going to Arkham Asylum? I know it makes sense for game design purposes, but it doesn't make sense narrative-wise. Why didn't you bring this explosive gel with you from the beginning? Stupid AI. Man down! Man down! I don't know what happened. One minute we were doing our evening rounds, and the next... I see that the game was on a tight budget by reusing Ashley Williams' voice actress for this doctor. Also, your badge just says doctor? And not your name or your profession? Details, man. They are important. This is the closest thing to Batman teabagging as we're going to get in this game. I heard a joke once. Laughter. It's a very contagious disease. And a disease that I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't mind having. <laughs> we have to take a sin off for this riddle by the Riddler. Just listen. It's a good one. What is it that walks on four legs, then two legs, and finally three legs? A human being. As a baby, it crawls on four legs. As an adult, it walks on two. And in later years, it uses a cane. <laughs> Good try. But the answer to all three is a baby. True, it crawls on all fours, but cut off its legs and it can only wiggle on two limbs. Give it a crutch, it can hobble around on three. You see? That's horrible. How can you even joke about that? Easily, Doctor. It's not my baby. Trouble. If you don't shut the- <laughs> Cute little explosion, but how was the doctor not injured by the debris? I mean, look at this! You'll be safer if you remain here. Yes, you will be safer here, surrounded by incapacitated thugs who could reawaken at any moment. I need to get back to the mansion. All my research notes are there. We can't risk Joker getting his hands on them. It's not safe, Doctor. The island's a war zone. You won't stand a chance. It's my life's work. You really don't have the authority to- Look, Doctor, I totally understand where you're coming from, but Batman is saying that the island is a war zone and that you won't stand a chance. And you're defying him? Ha! You deserve to die. Too easy! Oh, think about it. I got you trapped in a little metal box, hanging precariously over a deadly drop. What say I just blow the emergency brakes and drop you like a sack of puppies? You know, Joker's got a point. He could just end Batman right now and it would be... Game over. In fact, I would have preferred that. Just to see if the player would be smart enough to find another way down like Batman would.
We interrupted this Batman game to bring you a segment of Fatal Frame. For dry, red eyes, clear eyes is awesome. I'm sorry, Jim. Oh no, Jim Gordon's dead, said nobody playing this game because we all know it's just a dream. Superhero dead parent cliche number one. Superhero dead parent cliche number two. Scarecrow merry-go-round. We interrupt this Batman game to bring you a segment of Pitfall. I see that Scarecrow's weakness is the same as the Vulture. <sighs> Unimpressed. <laughs> so, Batman didn't even bother handcuffing Harley after this surprise attack? This is just me, but Bane's design. Seriously, not a fan of it at all. Personally, I prefer the one in Arkham Origins. Bane could have easily broken Batman here. Again. Ending the game instantly. Bane boss battle is just like every Titan battle. Batman, you okay? And all of a sudden, there was Commissioner Gordon! We need to get you off the island. I'm not a rookie. I can handle myself. I'm not a rookie. I can handle myself, cliche. How does Bane bust through the wall above ground when he was buried by debris underground? Bane gets caught monologuing. If Bane isn't dead, then he is either extremely OP or that is one weak-ass Batmobile. Either way, sinful. Also, what a waste of the Batmobile. Oracle, go through the city's computers. Pull up all you can find on Dr. Young. I'll go through anything you find once I get to the cave. A bat cave? On Arkham Island? I built it years ago. Wait, you built a bat cave near an asylum with some of the biggest, most dangerous maniacs in Gotham? Hell, you're practically inviting them to trash it once they've escaped. You can't bat claw Riddler trophies like you can in later games. Combat is sloppy, choppy, and uncoordinated. How did you manage to hang the guard here without a ladder? How do you make an explosive that doesn't also damage you? That trophy was a test. Well done! You passed the elementary grade. You know, for a supposed intellectual superior, you are giving me some pretty damn easy riddles. You need to step up your game, Nigma. In two minutes, the room will fill with happy gas. The audience will be in fits of ecstasy. And then die. So, how many of you failed this portion the first time around because there was no timer? Yeah, me neither. Still sinful, though. Inability to dive bomb like you can in later games. Dead mouses. Joker's thugs were trying to get into that office. It looks like they couldn't get through the main door. Got to find a different way in. Someone has already got to the safe. The only question now is, who opened it? No sign of forced entry. Whoever opened it knew the combination. Good. Dr. Young got to her notes before Joker. She's taken them to hide somewhere. Wait, if Dr. Young's prints are inside the office and outside near the stairs, then how did she manage to lock her office from the inside and make it to the outside without having to go through the vent that Batman came through? Heh. <laughs> Riddle me that, game. Flashback within a dream cliche. I'm Liberty! Paper! Poison Ivy isn't doing any twerking in this scene. Just stay where you are. Last thing I need is you running free. Wah wah. Surprise! You know, Bats, I always thought there was a spark between us. Oh, don't be teasing me like that, girl. <laughs> you so slick. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's finally turned up, the Dork Knight himself. How's it hanging, Babs? Man, Harley is on a roll with these puns. This Tommy gun is unavailable to equip as your weapon. Bye bye, Babs. <laughs> Worth it! Yeah, that should have caused a major concussion. Is there any reason why Harley can't fit her sexy petite body through these wide open bars? Hundreds of Batman gadgets and what do we get as weapons? Batarangs, a bat claw, and explosive gel. Thank goodness they learned their lessons in later games. I know, right? I seem to be on a later game theme here. 
You want to know why Arkham City is considered the best in the series? It's because it improved on the design of this game in every way. Really? But everyone's dying to see what I do next. Let him go now. Really? Very poor choice of words. <laughs> Who the hell is operating these cages? Dude in the control room is knocked out and Batman is standing right here. And all of a sudden, there's the Batwing. Convenience. And honestly, I don't know what's more sinful. Gaining a new gadget at the perfect time or not being able to use the Batwing at all. What do you think, viewer? Would it matter if I told you that they're both getting counted as sins? <laughs> I know Dr. Young mutated these plants to produce venom. Yes, and I heard it through the grapevine the evil woman paid the price. Ha ha. Get it? Grapevine? Puns! Quips! Jokes! <laughs> Batman is a dick to plants. Where did you assholes come from? Just try and stay calm. It's gonna be okay. The it's gonna be okay when it's really not cliche. What's the deal with the plants? It's complicated. Batman uses Facebook relationship status to describe their current situation. Now this is actually pretty damn awesome. Minus one sin. The obligatory running away while things are falling down behind you sequence. The process is slow, difficult, and doesn't produce much antidote. And the good news? The chemical will definitely stop Ivy. It may also reverse the Titan transformation. How is it possible to reverse the transformation when the formula doesn't produce that much antidote? See what happens when you build a bat cave near Arkham Island? Plant 42 mutates even further and destroys your whole lab. Not very wise for the world's greatest detective. <laughs> Tentacle porn, which is both a sin and a virtue depending on who you are. Game also rips off the Flagra boss battle from Metroid Prime. Goon welcoming party. Also, all these assholes sound the same. <laughs> Unnecessary first person point of view. How do you get a vest that's the size of a titan? You had to spoil everything, didn't you? So let me get this straight. The Joker is mad that Batman foiled all of his plans. And he is surprised because... why? It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight, it hasn't even begun. It hasn't even begun? We're near the end of the game, motherfucker! How come the Titan formula fails to transform Batman? The Batsuit is pretty worn out at this point, and that shot hit him in this tear where his skin is exposed. And as we've seen earlier, the Titan formula transforms pretty damn quick. I know he's Batman, people, but he's still human. Titan Batman versus Titan Joker would have been a far more enjoyable boss battle than the one we got. Joker Hulk. You would think that when Batman backclaws Joker when he's distracted that he wouldn't let it happen again. But he does. Because... game. Oh, so now your explosive gel does damage to your suit. How convenient. But if that's the case, then how come Joker still has his jaw? There goes our convenient Batwing again. Obvious setup for an obvious sequel is obvious.